Well, hello everyone. We are back out here in Berea. Today was actually the last practice open to the public. It was kind of a lighter walkthrough, but there was some good news that came out of it. Wide receiver Terrell Pryor was back out on the field today, and I think he will get a little work in Buffalo, uh, in New York, when they practice against the Bills, and I think he's aiming to play in the game on Thursday night. Yeah, and I think that's going to be important, obviously. Uh, you, as you have mentioned early on in the camp, you think he's going to make the team, but he does have to get out there, show something. And I think what's good this week, Mary Kay, is this is almost like getting two exhibition games in one week because they're going to get a lot of good work in against an opponent in Buffalo on Monday and Tuesday, and then he gets to come back and play in the, the scrimmage game. So I think it's going to be really help him. Yeah, and you know what? When we asked Mike Patton about it today, you know, I asked him, how much of a setback was this that Terrell has missed, you know, seven practices or so when he's trying to make that transition from quarterback to wide receiver? He said, we are not guaranteeing him a roster spot. Of course, he wouldn't expect that anyways, but uh, he said, but he did show some encouraging things and uh, he needs to show us more. Yeah, and I'm sure he needs to show everybody more. I mean, we, again, the, we've seen him catch the ball out here. We've seen him be very fluid in and out of cuts. Now the last thing we need to see him, and of course is the most important, is can he do it in traffic when he's going to get popped? And we haven't seen that yet, so that's the next big thing, and that's why I think this is going to be such a great week for him. Yeah, I think it's been one of the most interesting stories of training camp. With Johnny Manziel really not necessarily uh, battling for the starting job out here, uh, I think Terrell Pryor has uh, really kind of grabbed the headlines, and rightfully so. A couple other things real quick. Duke Johnson, for the first time, he's got the hammy too. It's the injury du jour of the week, as Butch Davis used to say. But uh, Duke Johnson Johnson has the hammy as well. He ran around a, a little bit out here today, but I don't expect that he's going to be able to do too, too much against the Bills. Uh, this was a pretty serious hamstring injury for him. Yeah, it's been like here, first string, second stream, hamstring on, on this team. That's all it's been. Uh, yeah, and, it, it's, and we all know how important this guy is supposedly is going to be to this team in the backfield. They want to get their full complement up so they can really have a good evaluation of their backfield. But you're right, I wouldn't expect him this week, maybe closer to Tampa Bay next week. Another guy that finally got back out here was Billy Wynn, and he's a, he's a kind of the guy that he knows he's kind of on the bubble. He needs to get out here and get good reps in so they can so he can have a positive evaluation. And, you know, Joe Hayden was still out today, and Pierre Desir was still out, so we are still seeing Justin Gilbert in the lineup, even though, uh, as you so beautifully wrote the other night uh, that he was he thought he was flawless after that first uh, blown play so Justin Gilbert I think this is going to be an opportunity for him to go against the Bills and redeem himself a little bit yeah yeah this is going to be good work for him you know maybe he'll give maybe he gets some time against Sammy Watkins uh, some of those other guys in Buffalo I, I think this you know looking ahead and I think we're, we're both excited to see what's going to happen up in Buffalo or in, in these scrimmages. You know, you get this, this Browns terrific offensive line, and we know how good that Bills defense is, their defensive front. I think it's going to be so, so much fun to watch. It should be. Unfortunately, the Browns are heading in with 19 injuries that they had from the game the other night, and we know these practices are going to be physical. We know that temper, tempers will flare. Uh, I mean, heck, heck, you're getting Mike Pettin's team going against Rex Ryan's team, so there's going to be fireworks. Yeah, yeah, it's those, and the players seem to be resigned to that. Uh, I'm not sure if they're some of those veterans are looking forward to it, but uh, I think they know that it, it's going to be a physical. I, I don't think we'll see because the coaches know each other. I don't think we'll see brawls like we saw with the Texans and Redskins, but it's going to be physical and it's going to be fun and it's good for a guy like Cam Irving uh, going against that defensive front. It's going to be a great learning lesson. The Browns are getting on a train tomorrow to head up to Pittsford, New York, and uh, they will practice Monday and Tuesday against the Bills and we'll have it all right here for you on Cleveland.com.